Hey everybody! So today I wanted to show you how you can recover an Acer laptop or desktop if it has Windows 7, Windows 10, Windows 11. It should have a recovery partition. So I'm going to show you how you can get into that recovery partition and if for some reason that recovery partition is messed up and you can still get into Windows, I'm going to show you how you can go in and you can make recovery disk so that you can get your system back up and running to the way it was when it first came out of the box. So let's go over to the computer and I'll show you exactly what to do. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to turn the computer on. But as soon as we turn it on, we have to hold down the Alt key and continue to press F10. So hold Alt down and press F10 over and over again. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now in just a moment, it's going to start pulling up the Windows. Yes, the Windows is loading files. So this is where it would allow you to go in and get to that recovery partition so that we can recover it back to the factory default settings. So we'll give it just a moment to finish loading. I'll show you exactly what it looks like. Okay. So, it gives you a few options here once it pulls up the Acer eRecovery Management tool. So, you can either restore the operating system to the factory defaults. You can restore the operating system and retain the user data. Or you can just exit. Now, the first one is basically going to put you back to the way it was when it came right out of the box. So there's not going to be any extra software on it. So if you've installed Office, Firefox, Chrome, any other programs, Adobe Reader, all those are going to be gone. And so will your data. None of your data will be there either. But if you're having trouble with your Windows not booting up, that may be something you want to go ahead and do. Now, if your data is fine, and you don't want to lose your data, you just want to fix the operating system, you may want to choose the second option where it's to reinstall the operating system and retain the user data. And that way your data is safe and intact. You won't lose your user account, all your downloads, your documents, your music, your videos, anything you can think of that's related to you, as long as you didn't put it in a special folder on the C drive, all of that's still going to be there. Now the third option is you just don't want to do any of that at all and you just want to exit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and exit because I'm going to show you the other way in case for some reason this partition has gotten deleted. There is another way. As long as you can get back into Windows that you can make the recovery disk so that you can restore this back to the factory defaults. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and click exit and then it's going to go ahead and exit out of that Acer eRecovery management tool. We're going to go into Windows, which will take a few moments for me to get back into Windows, and I'm going to show you where that tool is so that you can make those CDs or DVDs, and then you can get your computer back up and running. So give me just a minute, and I'll be right back. So one other thing that I did not mention, this computer still has Windows 7 on it. But honestly, I don't know if I want to put anything newer on it just because it would run so slow. Now, you could put something like a Linux on there. That would run a lot better on this machine. But in terms of like even Windows 10, it does have 6 gigabytes of RAM. But I still feel like this computer would struggle. The only way that I would do it is if I could put a solid state drive in the computer. If I could install a solid state drive in the computer, then that would make it a lot quicker. But as its current state, with only 6 gigabytes of RAM and a hard drive, I don't think that I would put Windows 10 on this machine. I would just leave it as it is or install Linux. Okay, so now that Windows 7 is back up and running, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on the start button and then I'm going to go to all programs and then I'm going to scroll down just a little bit and you'll see that there's a folder called Acer and if I click on it there's an Acer eRecovery management 
Now this would allow you to go in and do that recovery right here you want to click yes on this window if it asks can it make changes and this program is going to allow you to get in there and it's going to allow you to restore your computer back to a factory default so if I click on restore right here and it will take it just a moment to open up yours may be quicker if it had a solid state drive or if it's a faster machine but if you'll notice Right there, I've got the same ones. Restore operating system to factory defaults and then restore operating system and retain user data. So you can do that or you can just reinstall the drivers or applications. So that's a couple of ways that you could get your Acer computer back up and running if you're having any trouble with it. But on this one, I'm actually just going to go ahead and wipe the whole thing, put it back to the factory defaults, so that way it's a clean computer for anybody else who would like to use it, and that way it'll be ready to go for them. And if they don't want Windows 7, of course they can either put Windows 10 on there, they can go ahead and they can put uh, any version of Linux on there that they want to, Ubuntu, Lubuntu, Fedora, Debian, any of those they could put on there, it would run even quicker. But this will at least get it back to where it was when it came right out of the box. So I'm going to go ahead and click Restore Operating System to Factory Defaults. And it says this process will reboot and restore your system. Do you want to continue? And I'm going to click Start. And that way, this is going to be a brand new system for anybody who wants to use it. So I want to interrupt myself for just a second and let you know that there is one more way that you can get your computer back to the factory default settings with the factory software on there too. Now if you don't have the partition and you don't have it where you can make the recovery disk and your windows won't boot up, you can always contact the manufacturer and you may have to pay them a little bit of money but they can send you the CDs or the DVDs or maybe even a flash drive of the operating system that came on the computer originally. Now again, it may cost you, you know, $50, $30, $80. It's just going to vary depending on who the manufacturer is, if they charge you for the disc and the shipping, and how old it is too. But that may be another way that you can get it. You can also take a look and see if you can find it on eBay. Because it may be really cheap on eBay that you can get the recovery disc for that computer. So just a couple of thoughts for you. Maybe that'll help you out to try to get that computer back to the factory default settings so you can set it up the way that you would like to have it. But if you have any questions about this process or how to get your Acer computer restored back to the factory default settings, please let me know down below in the comments. I'll be more than happy to get back with you and help you out with that. And if there's a video that you would like for me to create for you, please let me know that in the comments down below as well. And as always, because you all do such a great job, if you can, hit that like and subscribe button so I can keep putting up more great content like this and anything else that you'd like. And I really appreciate you all. I hope you have a great day. God bless. Take care. And I'll see you next time. Bye.